Life was much too short for Eric Andelsek, who was in the prime of his career as a starting guard with the Detroit Lions when he left us too soon in 1992. But in his short life, he established himself as one of the top offensive linemen at Thibodeau High, LSU, and the NFL. More than anything, he became a hero in Lafouche Parish as one of its own who had humble, big-time success. What was it like playing with Big E? When he lined up next to me, I felt like we couldn't get beat. We were just going to beat everybody we played against. It was his extra effort and his tenacious drive to compete against himself that made him a better football player. He really was always trying to get better. A lot of times people go through practice just trying to survive, not Eric, whether it was the weight room or on the Ponderosa. He was always trying to get better. He would even yell at guys that were scout teamers that were going against them if they didn't uh, play hard. So he'd drive them, pile drive them if they didn't play hard, practice hard. He was named a Prep All-America in 1983, and as a three-year starter at LSU, was named All-SEC, All-American, and a member of LSU's modern-day team of the century. By the time he left Baton Rouge, the Sporting News had him listed as the college game's fourth best offensive lineman. He was a great guy off the field, would do anything to help you, always laughing, having a good time. But once he stepped on the field, look out, because he was the most feared player on our team by his peers and then our opponents. He was relentless. He was not only scary, but he was always looking to beat somebody, to knock them down between the whistles. So the legacy for us is that we were always glad that he was on our side. Andelsek was a fifth round selection of the Lions in 1988 and was a starter his final three seasons, blocking for one of the NFL's greatest players in Barry Sanders. Andelsek helped the Lions win the NFC Central and advanced to the NFC Championship game in 1992. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think about Eric Andelsek. Eric was a friend of mine and a teammate. When I think about Eric, I think one thing, he, he might have been the nicest guy in the world. I really mean that. I love being around him. His energy was infectious. He was one of the toughest guys that I ever played against. Eric and I lived together uh, our rookie year. We shared the ups and downs of rookies. And if I had a choice and I thought about it, there'd be no other person that I would share that time with in Eric Annel 6. Was he special? Absolutely. When he put that football helmet on, he was vicious. When he had the helmet off, he was a gentle giant. The legacy that I think about with Eric Annel was very simple. When the Detroit Lions came in for his funeral, it was a very touching day. It was a very humbling day. One of the coaches came up and said, Eric was a special person. He was a giver. And he said something I'll never forget. When you give, it grows. When you save, it dies. Eric was a giver. Eric, everything on and off the football field, Eric touched everybody's lives. And that was very, very special. And I miss him very much. Even 30 years after his passing, he remains a South Louisiana legend. Tonight, the Hall of Fame recognizes that his time was special and needs to be forever remembered. Ladies and gentlemen, Louisiana Sports Hall of Famer, the late Eric Andelsek.